Okay, so what I have here is eight three cells hooked up as four pairs, so four six cells. And uh, I am charging them at 23 amps for the whole rack. It's been running for 32 minutes now. That's 23.9 volts. I'm charging them through a seven foot appliance cord. And this is strictly to debunk a bogus statement that was made by somebody. Um, and they held to it regardless of all the facts, documented sources, and personal experience that I put forward. So here it is. There's a seven foot power cord charging that rack of batteries. It's been running for over a half an hour. This here is the molded cord cap I cut off of it. This is an appliance cord. The sticker on it says 15 amps, 125 volts AC. Now I know this is a 14.3 SJT cord. The UL listing is actually 18 amps. But to blow it completely out of the water, I figured I'd run 23 because that's what the discussion was. Now, I'm going to point out that, if we can see it here, the rating on this is actually 300 volts. That's the insulation. It does not specify AC or DC because AC amps and DC amps create the same amount of heat, period. Aside from extreme cases of high frequency or whatnot, for all intents and purposes, they're the same for all these calculations that we use in general. Okay, so the statement was made that a toaster drawing 22.7 amps at 220 volts with a six foot power cord, that same power cord carrying that 22.7 amps at 25 volts DC would heat up and melt, okay? Now we've been running for over a half an hour and let's see if you can see 86.3, huh? It's right around where it's been for the entire half hour. Barely above ambient room temperature. Hardly about to heat up and melt. So, there it is. By the way, that dual power lab eight is an awesome charger. I usually charge that whole rack of batteries at 40 amps for the whole set, which is 10 amps per six cell pair. And uh, it does an awesome job. So thanks for watching. Once again, let's take a look at where we're at. Twenty two point nine amps at twenty four volts. Sounds like that's above and beyond the statement that was made. Um, but there it is.